I have discovered a slight problem. Might not be able to hear it. We are parked for the night. So far, so good. 500 mile day. It's a little less than what we usually do, but we're not in a hurry. Right. Normally we're like, okay, let's just get there. But this time we're like, we got the time. Let's just Use go it. a little more <laughs> slower paced. Guy is zonked out, tired from his refusal to nap all day while we travel. Well, we have luxurious accommodations here at Walmart in Athens, Tennessee. Yeah, very, <laughs> very accommodating. We're actually in a way off to the side and we're all by ourselves in this little parking area. We're as far from the front as we could get. Right. And, and we actually did need uh, some, some of my favorite shells and cheese. So I went in and bought a three pack. Yeah, he bought a three pack <laughs> of this because, you know, He's an adult, and he can choose what he wants to have for dinner. For dinner, I have chocolate milk, <laughs> maybe some chicken fingers, or some shells and cheese. <laughs> I'm an adult, and you'll treat me as such. Yeah, yeah. But I think we're just going to eat some dinner, relax, and then kind of play by ear what we're going to do tomorrow as to what time we actually get up, right? Because we still don't know, really. We are not going to set an alarm. I don't care what time I get up. It could be 6 a.m. or 9 a.m. It doesn't matter to me. Right. So we're just going to play it by ear and then get back on the road, see where we end up. You think of this campground pipe, you like it? I think she likes it. Well, it is morning and it's cloudy. It wasn't a bad place to stay, though, at this Walmart. It was quiet for the most part it was quiet ish it's really going to be dependent on the timing that you're here it's going to be different than when we were here obviously but it was great that we didn't have to run our generator because we got that big ass battery from red audio yes that was actually a really nice change of pace because normally we're always almost always running that just to run anything we watched tv um made toast made coffee I took a shower and we didn't start the generator one time. Oh, and the fridge has been running. And we run that. The fan's been running. Yeah. It's off now, but. But I think it's time we get back on the road because we have a destination in mind. 370 miles. We're thinking Reed, was it Reed Bingham State Park? Yeah, Reed Bingham State Park in it's, Georgia. Yeah, I can't remember the town. We'll put the, the name down here. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, yeah. It's Southern Georgia. I don't like want to say it wrong. 40 miles north of Florida. Right, so. They had an opening, so we snagged it, and so now we have a destination to head to. So yep. let's get going. Piper is ready. I have discovered a slight problem. Might not be able to hear it. I hear hissing back there. That's where our city water comes in. Right here this piece of junk <laughs> i've hated this since the day we've got this you have to rotate this around if you want city water or fill the tank or use dry camping to pull from the tank it's garbage it's leaking but it's a can't leak <laughs> right it can't leak is <laughs> leaking there's a little cartridge in here that you can replace i just can't find any anywhere so i think to get us by for now i'm going to uh, bypass it yeah we're going to have to do something. Probably just fill the fresh tank and bypass all that trash. I noticed when we got here, Lynn ran the pump and I could hear it sucking air. And that was my first indicator that we got a problem. Yeah, and of course, we're in Georgia, so, you know, <laughs> yeah. not in our garage. All <laughs> right. So I'll just, re I'll just turn this water off for now. Let's turn this to tank. We got like 81%. We'll just top it off. The level's coming up, so at least that selection works when you put it on tank fill. We're at 100% on the fresh. Come back and look. 
Look at that. That's pretty much as it's up. Yeah. Keep in mind we're not level yet. So looking under here, you got all this mess. There's multiple hoses that come in here to this valve, this can't leak, leaky valve. The city water fill, the tank fill, uh, the sanitized setting, the, the pump hose all comes in here. I think what I'm gonna do is this is where the city water comes in. Here's your pump, pump goes out, pump inlet there. I think I'm just gonna disconnect it here from the filter and run this line, this braid running directly from here to there, bypassing the city water all together. So it should just draw from the tank. I've always carried a bunch of this PEX stuff with me and just need odds and ends. I'm gonna make an adapter that I need to bypass this. I'm gonna use this and where'd they go? <laughs> where'd they go? And I'll need these. I should be good to go. I got the two ends I need. Somewhere in here, I've got clamps. Here they are. Yep, PEX clamps, got them. And I've got a roll of PEX up here. On a side note, Georgia is hot. <laughs> we, we, are, we are from the north. <laughs> I don't even know what the temperature is right now, 80 something? It said 82 when I looked and that's nothing. We're just not conditioned. Yeah, I'm like, oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> so anyways, PEX is so stupid easy to work on. I'm just taking a short piece like this. I'm gonna put a clamp over the end. I'm gonna put the fitting on, move the clamp over towards the end of it. And then now, what I highly recommend when you go to cut this, you get a tubing cutter, something like this uh, Milwaukee tubing cutter. And then I got ratcheting PEX crimpers. Now you can get the kind that will also cut these clamps if that's what you desire. But I never cut the clamp. I just cut the tubing off behind the fitting and just put a new fitting on. Yeah. That's just me. So anyway. There we go. That one's done. Hmm. So it's just that easy? It's, it's that easy. It's literally that easy. I put my clamp on the other end, get the fitting out. This is a... 90 degree swivel. Same thing as the other side. Hmm, okay. Put the clamp on. Now this like nub in there mm -hmm. fits right in the end of that. So you just squeeze it till you can't squeeze no more and yeah. that's, that's it? That's it. My adapter is done. This is gonna dump water out, I know it is. Every, all the electrical stuff. Oh my God. It did not. Nothing came out. This, this line right here has got some water in it. But, okay, so I got the, this is the charge side off the, the water pump. I'm gonna connect my adapter, let's see. Now, because these have rubber seals inside, mm -hmm. you don't have to use any like Teflon tape or anything like that. small little I wanted an adjustable wrench but channel locks work I guess work well enough in a pinch who cares if the wrench right, fits if it works <laughs> if the wrench fits use it okay. of course everything is in my way there we go now on the intake side we have to undo this hose it's, I'm sorry, it's just really hard because everything is super tight in here. I'm, you're you're not going to be able to see. I'm trying hard, guys. <laughs> Let's I'm see. getting a lot of Mike's head. Yeah. <laughs> now, the tank. Now, what sucks about this is water is going to come out of this one. I have to kind of pinch the line <laughs> the same, oh my gosh. at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to unscrew it from the can't leak valve. As long as I hold it up higher than the water level in the tank, we're good. I hear water. Yeah, me too. Okay, whatever we are. All right, I gotta be quick because I don't want water pouring out because the tank's full. Yeah, we filled it up like <laughs> geniuses. I should have. 
<laughs> connected this. Well, still, the tank was at 81% when we started. So whether it's 81% or 100%, right. water's it, it, coming out. Yeah. Okay. Not including the water running off of Mike's face right now because he is dying. So here, I just did this. Oh, okay. So this way I can connect this hose without water running everywhere. I think we're ready to test this. Yeah. Let's see. I'm really curious to see how it works. Uh, pump on. It's sucking water. It's going to suck a little air. Stop really quick. Okay. Yeah, we've got, we've got water. So everything's bypassed. So for the time being, we're not going to have city water hookup. We're just going to fill the tank, run off the pump. Fill the tank, run off the pump. It is what it is. We have it, water. Yeah, it, we have water. We still have full hookup. We'll just run off the tank. It's all good. Got some burgers going. We got a guy out here sunbathing. Piper's out here looking for something to bite, kill, threaten. I know what I want to bite. A burger. <laughs> a double cheeseburger. A double? Yeah, I think. Not two singles, just a double. I think I'm going for a double today. To walk. They did a lot of traveling. I know she's been dying to get out and just do this. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. One thing we are definitely not used to is all of the bugs already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stupid might, northerners. I know. It might be like getting warmer up in Ohio and up north in the Midwest right now, but there aren't this many bugs yet. Down here, there's no lack of bugs. Piper is enjoying this walk. Yep. Guy, he is enjoying it, but he's still drugged, so. Are these bugs? Oh yeah, they keep bugging my ears. You might be able to see a, a swarm around my head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> God. Took a night walk down here by the water, and man, is it gorgeous. The temperature's perfect, too. Yeah, and the bugs and everything that was eating us alive when we were out just a little bit ago have seemed to dissipate. This is just gorgeous. Look at that. Plus the dogs are a lot happier in these. Of course you can't see them. It's just dark black, but they are much happier now. We are in the campground, but all you hear is ACs. You don't see anything, you don't hear anything, but AC units. It's not even that late. <laughs> it's, uh, you see, 922. 922. We're out walking the dogs and it's just a dead zone out here. Look at there, the sun came out and it is toasty warm. It's in my eyes. Yeah, Mike's probably gonna come back from this two shades redder. Well, <laughs> we've been in the in the race, scoping out uh, where we're gonna camp next yeah. and after that, and we don't know where we're going after that and that, <laughs> yeah, so. <yeah. laughs> so it's just kind of a little bit of pre-planning planning, you know, as little as we can do, because that's how we roll. And we're coming up on a holiday weekend, so mm -hmm. planning is, supposed to be harder but we're not having a hard time we're finding things yeah we're finding things but that's kind of how we do everyone thinks you need to go six months to a year out or else you're never going to find anything and that's just not the case or it hasn't ever been our case you have to be a little more fluid we had someone recently ask how do you get all these sites that's we, how you do it we just go where the openings are that's right. you do. look wherever and when there's something that's open up you just kind of go okay sounds good and then that's it Bugs bad. What bugs are down here that go buzz like mosquitoes in your ears constantly, but aren't mosquitoes? And they're swarming around us. It's insane. I they, can see them all around your ears and stuff right they now. They look like gnats. <laughs> I've never heard of a gnat that goes. <laughs> <laughs> what is down here, George? They're so bad.
What do you think, Piper? You want to go swimming? Be aware, alligators present. You throw no you in? swimming. They say this here, but right there is the beach. Right over there, like the people beach, and they just have a little buoy system. I'm pretty sure that'll keep out all the gators, right? Yeah, that's key. they know to stay uh, out of that area. They know that, no, you can't eat the children, no. <laughs> For sure though, these trees here are so pretty. They all have this hanging moss and stuff. Beautiful. Walking around out here at this campground though, I will say that they have a lot of really great sites here and I'm gonna show you a couple of them. This one is site 32. It is a pull through full hookup and it is very shaded if you're into that. But look at how long it is. I mean, it starts there's the road so you get to pull in all the way through here and all the way up in to this whole area you have a picnic table fire pit it you have all of your water electric sewer hookups over here but like it is so huge it can fit anything in here they also have quite a few back end selections as well i think one side of the park is just electric and the other side is all full hookup and we were actually able to score a full hookup site so that was nice across the street from that one is a back in which is also very nice so i'm going to show you that one because there's no one in it this is site 31 here it's a back in you got this really gorgeous huge tree here lots of shade but like look at how big the site itself is the other site is way over here and that's a pull through so the layout here is beautiful. There are quite a few of very nice sites here. The, I do like how a, there isn't a lot of grass, which is good for like ticks and stuff like that, which I feel like would thrive in this environment. But with there not being so much grass and it's kind of sandy and rocky, that's actually really, really nice for that. It's not so good for putting dog sticks in the ground or your sign, that ain't gonna happen. But other than that, this is a very beautiful park and I would highly recommend it if you have not been here before. If you guys have been here before, please let us know what your thoughts and opinions were and if you would recommend it. This is our first time here and I really enjoy it. So we will definitely keep this park in mind if we're running through this area in the future. Got a lot of grease there. <laughs> Good fire starter. Yeah, it's so liquefied in this heat. We don't have to heat it up at all. It just pours right hours. out. hours. It was in the morning when we used to go out. Yeah. 6 tiers. 6 tiers of wood. That's and two two packs, two full packs of wood that we just bought. All right there so we can get it burned down so we can cook over it. Fire must be hot. This Piper got as far away as she could. <laughs> he stretched out. It's as far as it'll go. Well, I guess Piper found her, her home. She just wants to be in the back of the Jeep. She's happy. She's content <laughs> with the firewood. Fire burnt down. Looks like it's dinner time. Yeah. I'm going to be making some pizza pies. Got some pizza sauce, some big old pepperonis from That's the deli. Some amazing pepperoni. Yeah, we right just sit there. here and eat it, and you really shouldn't, but it's delicious. <laughs> Can't stop. Got some bread. We're gonna mix them in the pie iron, which I don't see out, which was Mike's job. Uh oh, yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> well, I got distracted because pipe. Because pipe. She's on guy's bed. She's yeah. out of the jeep. Not on guy's bed. Yeah, she knew we were getting ready to make some food, so she's like, I need to be closer for this. So here she is. Got an audience. So it's just bread, butter, yeah. um, uh, pepperoni, pizza sauce, and cheese. That's it? Yep. Just I like guess a, that's how, how you make a pizza. Just huh? like a regular pizza. Now, I put the pepperoni down first so that the bread wouldn't just absorb all of the sauce and make it kind of soggy. Yeah. Try to give it a little buffer buffer. And then you put the cheese on it to buffer the other bread? 
Well, I'm gonna put two pepperonis in there. Oh. I'm also gonna use two different kinds of cheese. Man, if, if so, if I was making this, it'd be amateur hour. It would be amateur hour. <laughs> God. Okay, I got my two different kinds of cheeses. I'm gonna put another pepperoni slice and then my bread butter side up on the top. Stick them right in the bed of coals, right there. Probably a couple minutes each side, and then I'll check. This one was in just a couple minutes on each side. Look oh. at that gorgeousness. I'm just going to flip it out for you. Oh, Look at yeah. that. Looks delicious. So It's got an yeah. ash on it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> It's all better. better. I'm better now. Got our finished products here. Got Mike's two and my one. Both came out, or both sets, I guess, came out pretty dang good. Just gotta wait, you know, 17 hours to taste test them. Some volcano heat. <laughs> First bite. Is it pizza? Campfire awesomeness. I think the secret is the two pepperonis. The two layers of pepperoni. Mm. As the as the moisture layer separator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to have the moisture layer separator, people. Speed test time. Yeah. And it's time to pack up and get out of here too. It is. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone here. AT and T. Seventy one point five download, zero point three zero upload. Verizon. 74.3 download, 0 0.88 upload. T-Mobile. 155 download, 4.62 upload. So it's the A best here. AT&T has not done well here. No. Not even when we went into town, it was not doing well. No, but I was flying by him. So this is one of the few places <laughs> where T-Mobile has really been a lot better than both the other carriers. But as we mentioned earlier, it is time for us to get back on the road and head a little bit further south. Yeah, it's looking overcast <laughs> today. It's looking like rain. So I think maybe if we go south, we can continue to outrun it, but. I know. I don't know. Do you guys think that we can continue to just stay one step ahead of the rain or is it eventually gonna catch up with us? Yeah. I kind of think it'll catch up. I think but... it's gonna catch up because if we go further south, we can't go any further south. <laughs> right. So it'll I get. I can't go any further. It'll get us. Yeah, so it's been a beautiful time here, right today. It's not sunny, but man, it is warm and humid. Let's get out of here. All right, till next time, see ya. See ya. Ready to get in the pool? Yes, this is the moment a lot of you have been waiting for, and myself, because I'm ready to be back in bikinis.